I've had this little screwdriver for many, many years, and I was going to give it along with this little coin box that I made. And then I thought, you know, I hate to part with it. I'm guessing I've had it going on 40 years. Well, 30 anyway. I can't remember when I didn't have it. I bought a, a set. And uh, so I figured, well, now I've got to find a, a Robertson screwdriver that'll be the right size. And so I went to the store today and I bought this one. And I was thinking, okay, it's got this nice, easy to grip handle. That's nice. And then I thought, yeah, except what's going to happen is some moron is probably going to just, uh, you know, crank this down too tight and, uh, you know, strip the threads. I hope it's okay to say moron on YouTube. Anyway, uh, so I thought, well, hey, why don't I cut the shank off and uh, turn my own handle? It, uh, it can be smaller in diameter, and that way it's not going to be so easy to strip out the threads. And if I use monkey wood, it should match the monkey wood coin box. Let's go! Now the reason that I put this masking tape around the shank is because I didn't want the uh, clamp from the bandsaw to accidentally leave tooling marks on this uh, nice new screwdriver. So anyway, I think you know what I'm doing here. But I gotta get it off where I'm gonna have it go into the wood. Okay, I think I've got enough left on there for the chuck on the lathe to grab onto here. And I'll just rough this up the same way I would do a, uh, a brass tube for a pen blank. And that way the glue's going to stick on it really good. And my plan here is that uh, what I want to do is have it go up into the handle and just have just a very small little short handle here. Doesn't, and maybe uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter at the most. Maybe not even that big. Just so that you can sort of finger tight the screws. And then what I want to do with the rest of this is have it so that it'll be sort of a stand. In other words, it can go like this and the screwdriver will drop down into a hole and it'll just sort of stand up. At least that's the plan. Now I want to square up this piece here for two reasons. First of all, so that the center finder will work properly, and also so that when I put it into the chuck, it'll bottom out nice and square. Now it's my hope here that I can find one of my good parabolic drill bits here that's going to be just a smidgen bigger than this. And it looks like this is just a little bit under a quarter of an inch. Maybe I'll try the 7 millimeter. Well that's going to be Probably too big. See if I've got one that's a little smaller here. 
What would a letter O be? That looks even bigger. I might not have one. Let's try some of these here. Those are way too big. And those are too big. Now I do have a quarter inch brad point here. And what I could do is, uh, it's not as long as, as I'd like it to be, but uh, I could start the hole with this and then finish up with this. I've, I find that this type of uh, tip doesn't cut as true, like it tends to go in crooked in other words. Whereas the brad point does a, a good job, but the parabolics, like this, they do even a better job. Now that's my experience, and other people might have a different experience. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll use this one to start the hole, and this one to go in all the way. I want to go in about five inches. Now I'm finding that after I tighten the chuck up really tight, the hole isn't exactly where I want. And uh, in other words, centered on the end of this brad point. And no matter how I adjust it and, you know, release it and retighten, I can't get it exactly right. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is push the bit into the work here as slowly as I can and then it will slowly rate itself, I hope. Well, we'll just see. This isn't the end of the world. It's not like I'm building a new space shuttle or something here. That's not good. Okay, as you can see, I've turned the piece around. And we'll try it again. And here I went to all that work to find the center. Well, here we go. This does not seem to want to work. What is wrong here? Okay, I've got another idea. Now let's measure the diameter of that hole. I've only got one of these bits, so if this is too big, I'm out of luck. Okay, we're adjusted to a quarter of an inch. And it's way too big. It must be three-eighths. Okay, now I've trimmed this down flush. Took about a quarter of an inch, maybe not even off. And I put in one of those regular standard drill bits, you know, the kind that I said I don't like. Now this is a short one there'll be less wobble. If I was to put this long one in, which is also a quarter inch, it will tend to go like this right off the bat. This will be a little bit more stable. And after I get this one in about an inch, then I'll switch bits.
Okay, I think I know what was going wrong before. I'll explain after. Okay, I've concluded that these brad point bits and also the parabolics, they're designed to turn into the wood, not the wood turn into them. So we're going to try this. And if this doesn't work, well, whatever I end up with, I end up with. Okay now, all that fooling around. I should have done this to start with. Sometimes the easiest solution is the best solution. Here I was trying to do it the complicated way. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to show this video or not, but you know I've always said I show my mistakes, so I guess I better.